So this is the skin, this white rectangle here, and all of this is the fat and subcutaneous tissue underneath. So this is looking at the monitor through the microscope. Uh, so this is skin here, on the, a square piece of skin that we've excised with the uh, underlying tissue, the fat, and blood vessels that are connected to this piece of, of skin have been removed as well. And then there's an artery and vein that are connected to this piece of tissue, so that's coming down here uh, that you can sort of see it. It's in uh, these cannulas are connected into the artery and into the vein. So we have a, a single piece of tissue that's completely removed from the animal and we have one artery going in and then one vein coming out. It's in the artery and then it will perfuse the tissue flap and then drain back out through the vein, through the cannula connected to the vein back to the machine. And so here, what you're seeing is that piece of tissue. And all these blocks here are blocks of stem cells, and they're all viable. They're all healthy. This sort of thing for pancreas, uh, or at least pancreatic islet. Uh, is We've developed a way to um, overcome one of the big problems in tissue engineering, which is uh, how do you get blood vessels into big blocks of tissue so that you can potentially make things like hearts or livers or or very solid organs, and, and we've done it in, in a somewhat uh, unique way uh, because we're surgeons, we're used to moving around big um, blocks of uh, tissue that contain microvascular beds, and, and in this um, paper that we published, we've actually taken those uh, microvascular beds out and then used them as the scaffold to seed stem cells and then put them back into an animal. What I do is I move around big blocks of tissue to reconstruct cancer patients. Uh, and in the, in the process of doing that, I realized that I was actually moving uh, not just the tissue, but the blood vessels. The way we keep those pieces of tissue alive is by sewing together a single artery and a single vein. And so I thought, well, if we're able to do this routinely clinically now, maybe we could use this uh, microvascular bed as a as a way to transport very large volumes of stem cells. <laughs> this study, by taking pre-existing mature vasculature, actually um, circumvents the need to build your own vasculature within a tissue engineered uh, equivalent. And as a result, uh, it promises to greatly enhance the survival of the resulting tissue once it's implanted inside the body. It needs to be done for human tissue uh, before one can begin to translate this towards clinical application. So that's one significant challenge. One is, uh, second challenge is building functionality into that tissue.